here we are in mid-December and uh, this is what our plants are like. They've, they've been in a uh, polytunnel uh, here um, since we sowed them uh, simply because uh, although it's been mild enough that they could be outside uh, when we get bad weather they need a bit of protection and I grow so many plants I can't be moving them in and out all the time so so they've they've left in here we've kept as much ventilation on as possible uh, but nevertheless it's been a mild autumn and these plants are far too advanced really um, they have developed to a stage that I would normally expect to see in mid-January uh, but I'm not alarmed um, uh, it would be very tempting when you have this situation to nip out the tops um, but you shouldn't do that not at this time uh, if you were to nip out the tops before say the end of January then there is a risk that you encourage premature development of the side shoots uh, and your plants will be ready for planting out far too early and um, doesn't matter if they get taller they could be a foot high by the end of January if it stays mild that's fine then is the time to cut them back so that those side shoots have grown up sufficiently um, to be at the right stage for planting out in the spring so if people go wrong when they're sowing seeds in October the uh, problems are twofold one is that they mollycoddle the plants and they grow them too soft they're a hardy annual and they can tolerate frost quite happily. I'm, I'm disappointed if at some stage in the winter these plants aren't absolutely frozen solid, uh, that so much so that they just collapse and then they recover and it really toughens them up and you get, you get strong sturdy plants in the spring as a result of that. So don't mollycoddle your plants. The other thing where they can go wrong is uh, mice absolutely adore sweet pea seeds uh, so what we have here is these plants are actually on some makeshift benching which is uh, boards old doors whatever happens to come to hand and these are stacked on um, two stacks of concrete blocks um, so that any mice climbing up the concrete blocks are faced with an overhang and so uh, we've not had to do any trapping or poisoning of mice we've physically separated the plants from them on a small scale as well uh, on a, a greenhouse bench as long as you provide an overhang you've 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 um, physically separated uh, those those precious seeds and seedlings from from mice because because they'll 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 go for them even at this stage they'll they'll eat the remnants of the seeds at the base of the plants and and end up destroying them so if you're working on a greenhouse bench type scale, you've only got perhaps the one tray, some, one or two trays, you want an upturned pot or bucket, whatever's handy, you put a board on that so that there is an overhang, anything climbing up is faced with an overhang so they can't get at what's on top and then you simply place your seeds on top of there uh, so that's all, all we do we haven't lost a single plant this year to um, or for a number of years to to mice but um, just a precaution I do have a night watchman to keep an eye on things while I'm not here <laughs> 